Hey guys, welcome and so welcome back to my channel. My name is Nate Penda. If you love sweet scents, floral scents, but you want to figure out what sweet and floral scents you can wear in the fall and winter without giving too much spring and summer, this video is for you. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe, leave a comment down below and let me know if I missed any of your faves. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to have my fragrance recommendations broken down into three categories. The first one is going to be warm florals. The second is going to be warm and sweet gourmands. And then the third is going to be woody, warm, spicy fragrances that still work for the sweet girls. My first warm floor recommendation is the YSL Libre La Absolute Plantain. This is a newer fragrance that just came out. As far as the notes, it has white lavender accord, orange blossom. I smell the orange blossom. I smell the lavender. It's perfect if you are someone that wants to go out in the evening and have a fragrance that is going to allow you to smell sweet, but it's a little bit warm. Next, I have the Fenty Beauty Eau de Parfum. The Fenty fragrance has magnolia, musk, and Bulgarian rose. This fragrance to me, it gives brown sugar, babe. It gives golden in the sun. Like when I first tried this, I literally said, I'm from Harlem, New York. So it just reminds me of a beautiful black woman who is dripped in her body butter, shea butter, has a little bit of gold highlighter on, and is just walking around allowing everyone to like be within her essence. That is what this fragrance gives. Like I've been wearing this a lot, especially during the day when I've been going to events and I always get complimented on it. One thing I can say, people either love or hate this. There is no in between. There is no in between. So I would highly recommend you go into a store and smell it on your own. Do not blind buy this because you may not love it. But me personally, I love it. It's the perfect warm floral in my opinion. Next, I have the Carolina Herrera Good Girl Perfume. This has notes of tuberose, jasmine, and tonka bean. This is the perfect date night scent. I don't care what anyone tells you. If you want to turn heads, if you want your man to just be like, oh my god, like, what does my shorty have on? Carolina Herrera. Like, good girl, good girl gone bad. Because this literally just smells so good. I feel like this is definitely on the warmer side, which is why I say you can wear this more so in the evening because you don't necessarily immediately get hints of sweetness, but it is a warm floral and you will get the best of both worlds with this fragrance. The last fragrance recommendation in the warm floral category is the K. Ali Rose Oud Perfume. Now, I was actually sent to NPR and I have the mini. I already finished it, so I ordered the large size. That fragrance has key notes of lemon, rose, and oud. It is the perfect introduction into more fall, winter fragrances that are more heavy if you are someone that does not like something that is just really, really bitter. If you don't like things that are really harsh, um, in my opinion, is the only way to describe it, but you still want to feel like it's fall and winter and feel like you have an evening scent, this is the perfect fragrance for that. If I have to recommend one fragrance out of all of them in this category, I would definitely say... For fall and winter vibes, if I had to pick one, it would be the Kaali Orgasm Rose Oud. Just because if you guys know anything about like Arabian fragrances or like fragrances from the Middle East, you know that it's super, super strong and it's long lasting. And I would say that that fragrance has both of them and it gives the perfect balance of just like bitterness with sweetness and it smells amazing. So that would be like my top recommendation out of all of the four if you could only pick one. The next category is the one that I have the majority of fragrances in, and it is the Warm and Sweet Gourmand. So the first recommendation that I have is the K. Ali Love Fest Burning Cherry. This has hints of black cherry, rose, damascena, and palo santo. This is definitely more of a daytime fall winter fragrance. It does have the sweetness and you can smell the cherry. I have tried the Tom Ford Lost Cherry Fragrance and I did not like it at all, but this is a cherry that I can get behind. The reason why I say that this is perfect for the daytime is because you definitely smell the sweetness within this. It is like at the top of the scent. Um, however, it's not too sweet or too light to where you can only wear it in the summer or spring. We have another Kaali fragrance. This is the Oudgasm in Vanilla Oud. You guys, no one does fragrance like Kay Ollie. Like, I'm just being honest with you. I think I'm actually going to get the full-size version of this as well. I am not someone that loves vanilla. It's something that I'm just starting to, like, dip my toes into. So I feel like this is a perfect layering fragrance. You can wear this in the morning. You can wear this in the afternoon. You can wear this in the evening. It is the perfect, like, base fragrance that I feel like you should have 
when it comes to your fall or winter fragrances and if I didn't say it already the notes of this are vanilla praline and oud so you get the vanilla scent um, that you can layer anything with but then you still get that feeling of oud for the fall and winter this next fragrance is Mason Margiela by the fireplace is it a fall and winter fragrance video if someone has not included this fragrance? I feel like everyone talks about this. And what I can say is I was surprised that this was considered a warm and sweet gourmand. I thought that this would be more like bitter or more woody, more spicy. The notes of this are clove oil, chestnut accord, and vanilla accord. And I definitely feel like the clove oil and chestnut accord are the things that you smell at the forefront. The vanilla is more so like the baseline. It's more subtle within the fragrance. This for me is definitely an evening fragrance. It is something that I would most likely layer with my vanilla oud just so that more of the vanilla can pop and this can be like less woody, less spicy, or less gourmandy. If you are someone that does like, you know, more woody, spicy scents, I would definitely think that you would love this. But it still does have a hint of like warm sweetness. Next we have YSL Black Opium. I really love this fragrance. The keynotes of this fragrance are black coffee, white flowers, and vanilla. I think like I love the smell of coffee in general, which is why I feel like I'm really gravitating towards this fragrance. However, it's not like a coffee that is super, super strong. It is, in my opinion, out of all of these, the perfect balance of both warmness and sweetness when it comes to the sweet gourmand. Next in this category is the Valentino Born in Roma Coral Fantasy Eau de Parfum. This has keynotes of red apple, tobacco, and sage. I feel like this fragrance can actually be unisex. Like, I am smelling this, and I feel like I wouldn't mind if I made it smell like this. Like, it smells really really good it does have a hint of that sweetness from the red apple if you are someone who is nervous of trying fragrances that make you feel too sweet or too floral um but you still do want more of like a feminine soft vibe this fragrance is going to be the perfect balance for you when it comes to that but it just smells so good and like i said i feel like i can see anyone wearing this regardless of their gender i mean fragrance is fragrance you can wear whatever you like but i feel like i wouldn't mind if i smell my man and he smells like this like this smells good and it's really strong like I feel like whenever I have to go out in the evening if I'm looking for something that gives me that warm gourmand sweet gourmand vibe I definitely do lean towards this a lot the last fragrance in the warm and sweet gourmands is this Mugler Angel Elixir Eau de Parfum it has scents of pink pepper ylang jasmine and sandalwood I really like this fragrance I wear this when I go to brand events when I'm going to brunches to meet up with people because I feel like it makes a scene like it adds people always ask me like what I'm wearing this one is more like almost like a spicy baby powder that might not sound good to you but I'm telling you it smells really good when you have it on this is like a fresher baby powder scent that still gives you fall and winter the last thing is not a fragrance it is a perfume oil and it is this Nest Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil. This is considered a warm and sweet gourmand and it has hints of Madagascar Vanilla Bean, Vanilla Orchid, and Coconut. This is the perfume oil that you are going to layer and put on your body before you spray your fragrances. Because of this scent, it is not super strong. It is a little bit neutral. However, you do get the vanilla pull for it. I really, really, really like using this just as a base before I apply any of my fragrances, so like my wrists or my neck. The last category of fragrances are considered a bit more bitter. These are the woody spices, the warm woods, and I only have three of them because again, I am very much a sweet girl, okay? So the first fragrance is actually from Zara and it is the Energetically New York fragrance. I love using this fragrance to layer. It has key notes of cardamom, jasmine, and sandalwood. It is a bit more woody, a bit more spicy. However, I love using this to mix in with my sweet fragrances. In the summertime, whenever I'll be going out in the evening and I wanted to have my sweet scent, but I also wanted like a little bit of edge, a little bit of an evening feel, I would mix this with the Gucci Flora fragrance. That combination of fragrance, I feel like gets me the most compliments when it comes to the summertime and my summertime scent so i really recommend this to mix in with other things but you can also wear it on its own and it is really affordable next we have the floor fragrance and this is somebody wood eau de parfum this is a warm wood scent and it has key notes of sandalwood amber and musk so this is really going to give you 
that fall winter vibe. What I love about this is that although it is more of a woody scent, it's not super harsh or super bitter. This is something that I feel like even as someone who loves sweet and florals, I can wear this on its own and still feel like I smell really, really good while still embracing the warm weather, the cozy weather, and the cozy fragrance vibe. The last fragrance that I have in the woody spice category is this Five Scents Burning For You fragrance. This has hints of or key notes of Madagascar Vanilla, Cashmere Musk, and Amber. It definitely is a very woody spice. Like, I feel like if there's any of the fragrances that I recommended today that, like, I love the least out of everything that I love, it will be this one just because it is definitely more bitter and more woody and spicy than the rest. However, I feel like whenever I think of this set, I think of, like, wood, I think of a fireplace, I think of being out, like, in the cabins during a snowstorm. So it makes me feel good when I still wear this, even though it is different from the typical sense that I gear towards and for that reason alone I definitely think this is a good stronger winter fall fragrance recommendation if you are someone that is on the hunt. The next category of fragrances are sweet florals and fresh solars. They don't fit either into the full warm floral category or the warm and sweet gourmands category or the woody spices but they're kind of like in the middle. The first fragrance in the sweet floral category is Fumi Monet's Exalted Perfume. It has scents of pink pepper, lemon, Turkish Rose and Orange Blossom. Although this is considered a sweet floral, this is very much giving me warm floral slash gourmand slash like, yeah, it's giving me a mixture of like a warmer floral because this is not something I would wear in the spring or in the summer. I feel like it's a bit heavier for that, but I would definitely get my absolute use out of this in the fall and in the winter. I feel like you get all of the notes when you smell it and when you apply it. I actually got this when I first met Fumi in LA and she smells amazing. She knows her stuff when it comes to perfume. I feel like I'm more of like a novice. I'm just figuring things out and I know how I like to smell. But I would definitely recommend this if you are someone that is looking for something that can give you a bit of sweetness um, while still giving you what you need for the fall and winter. Next we have the K. Ali Elixir and this has notes of red apple, rose de my absolute, jasmine sandbag. This fragrance smells amazing. Like, I'm actually going to, this is going to be my fragrance of the day. It smells so good. And even though, again, it's categorized as a sweet floral, it gives me more, like, warm florals. It reminds me of just, like, calmness. Because it's not too harsh and it's not too sweet at the same time, this makes for a perfect layering fragrance. I just want to make a disclaimer. I am not a fragrance connoisseur. I am not a perfumista. I'm just a girl who likes to smell good. And that's just that. So take my recommendations with a grain of salt, okay? Do your own research, go in the store and smell them. This is just what I recommend. Make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know if I shared one of your favorites or if there's something you want to check out. Oh, and if you're wondering how this bee came about, check out my life update where I did my makeup and listed everything I have on in my face in that video. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.